take our sample in the round bottom flask to start the distillation. So what are we distilling today? We are distilling a mixture of 1 to 1 ethyl acetate and 1 butanol. Where will this mixture go? I have noticed that I have taken 30 milliliters. You have to pour that mixture into the round bottom flask. How are you going to do it? For that, make sure any loose glassware you have set up is away or away from accident zone if you want to call it. So put that graduate cylinder away. You want to lift this condenser up and then pour the liquid in. General safety guideline is always remove the thermometer so you don't break it by chance. And the stopper is loose, I can take it out. I can remove the thermometer, the stopper and the graduate cylinder in which I was going to collect the liquid anytime as long as I didn't have anything here that was distilling. So it is okay to remove it. And the next question is, okay, the water is running. What will happen? The water is just running in the outside chamber. So can let that continue. Nothing will happen. So take this piece out. Lift it up. And if you want, you can place it on the jack carefully. And then pour your liquid mixture. I'm going to take a smaller funnel. Place the funnel. Pour the mixture now I can place this back I can put the stopper on place the thermometer back and then I can have the graduate cylinder back in its position. Now we are ready really to start the distillation. One thing that you have to bear in mind is that while I was setting all these up and especially while I was adding the solution that I am going to distill, the heater was not turned on. We had made sure that the heater was working by preheating it. However, it was turned off till now. Now that this setup is complete, I can turn the heater on by turning the variac on and setting this up to 80 volts. Now it has started heating. As soon as you turn the heater on, you want to make sure that the liquid inside is stirring. So let us turn the stir bar on and notice that the magnetic stirrer is stirring the liquid and you can see a vortex in there. You don't want the vortex to be jumping too rapidly. So reduce the speed a little bit and now the liquid is turned uniformly and in a very smooth fashion. So what we need to do now is just wait for the liquid to get heated and then it will start vaporizing, it will reach the thermometer, then the condenser portion and then the drops will start to fall into this graduate cylinder. What you want to do is when the first drop falls into the graduate cylinder, note down the temperature and then note down the temperature for every milliliter that you are going to collect. Obviously you want these readings to be facing you so you can read what happens. So again, note down the temperature when you collect the first drop and then note down the temperature for every milliliter of the liquid that you are going to collect. 